Hi everybody, welcome back to Big Oggy World. Welcome to the Big O Kitchen. Um, Ken is busy, so it's the Big O Kitchen, I know. Uh, normally Caddy would be doing some cooking, but I'm doing quite a lot at the moment. And uh, I'm loving it, I'm really loving it. Now, today, um, I love synchronicity, okay? And um, we've had a couple of comments. Um, one, because obviously it's near Christmas now and people are asking us to do Christmassy things. Uh, could we make uh, a recipe for mince pies? I think so, we can do that. And then the other day, um, I popped into Sainsbury's. Um, yeah, still got one there. And uh, I found these, which are really nice, cherry and Kirsch mince pies. Um, I tried their other normal ones and they were really too sweet, but these are quite good. So I had an idea because uh, I popped into Waitrose a while ago and uh, I always pick up their free magazine. If you've got the um, app, you can always get the free magazine. And they did a recipe, which I, I tore out, for double cherry Bakewell mince pies, which we will be doing on another video. But I thought we'd create the mincemeat today because you need to make the mincemeat at least 24 hours, any time up to a month, really, beforehand. So we're gonna make this today, and in a couple of days time, Kelly and I will make the actual mince pies for this. But today we're gonna to make, well, double cherry mincemeat. Love cherries, absolutely love cherries in this house. Um, the only ingredient that we won't be having here is the ground almonds, sorry, the chopped almonds. Uh, Kelly's not that keen on nuts. But everything else the same, and obviously I'll add that in the ingredients if you wish, and I'll put it down as optional. Okay, um, let me go and grate some orange, some apple. These are brownie apples. Just eat those grated um, and I'll come back to you because that's going to be done fresh. Okay, I'm back. So, mincemeat is just a build and then a kind of a gentle simmer on the hob. So, this is a, uh, this is two smallish bramleys. We couldn't get a large one, but ideally a large bramley apple, just grated. Everything's coarsely grated. I'll be using this saucepan again in a while, so I'm not going to be too particular about getting everything out. It's more for demonstration. Put that to one side. Now, to that, I've said, this is the build, okay? We have currants, tiny little currants. We have raisins. We have glacé cherries, which I have halved. And we have dry cherries, which I have chopped up. Um, they're not the cheapest thing, dried cherries, but they're just lovely. They're really jammy and chewy, a little bit sharp, okay? I've also got the juice of half an orange and the juice of half a lemon put together and the zest from the lemon and the orange. Obviously, all the ingredients will be listed below with the measurements. I've also got some dark, soft brown sugar to add into this. Um, got a little bit of spices, got a bit of cinnamon, and some ground mixed spice. That's all really. Uh, also got some suet. This is vegetarian suet, because, uh, well, why not? That's vegetarian suet. Means anyone can use this recipe. You can still use the real meat suet. Uh, being a bit of a historian in the old days, mince meat was meat, okay? Uh, but then we transferred to beef suet, which still is basically fat from meat. Uh, and now most people use vegetarian. That will go until later. A little bit of boozy punch to this. If you've got cherry brandy, use cherry brandy. We won't, we haven't got cherry brandy. To be honest, I'm not sure if I like it. Um, we've got plenty of rum in this house, so we're going to use some dark rum just a little bit later. But for now, I'm just going to build all these ingredients together. So, 225 grams of raisins, 125 grams of currants. Uh, you can get currants that don't have seeds in them, these might not be those. Uh, but they're quite hard to get hold of, but normal currants are fine. 100 grams of glacé cherries. Um, we're actually using 200 because cherry, uh, Kelly really loves cherries. Put those in, they're quite sticky as you can tell. Lovely. 75 grams of the dried sour cherries or just dried cherries. There's your double cherry going on, lovely. Add that to that, the juice of the orange and lemon, because that's basically the only liquid you've got in this right now until some of this starts breaking down, the apple starts breaking down. Put all these to one side a second. There's the zest, the zest of those oranges and lemons that we've just done. 
Okay, then it's well. Lovely. Okay, 125 grams of the dark soft brown sugar or soft dark brown sugar. And then we got a little bit of spice. So not an awful lot of spice to be honest. So one teaspoon of the ground mixed spice. Had everything in this really. Okay. And two teaspoons of your ground cinnamon. Absolute Christmas smell, Christmas flavour. There we go. Now to give all this a stir, then we're going to pop it in the saucepan. Come back to me in a second. So there we go, there's all the ingredients, like I said. Just going to give this a big stir, mix it all up, everything nicely combined. There's your apple. Smells amazing already. It'll be so much better when everything kind of just warm through, soften through, all that apple will go, well, it just goes to nothing, really. It just goes to beautiful kind of juice, really. Okay, so I'm gonna transfer all this into our saucepan. juice in and all those spices. Ooh, there we go. Big hand. Big bowl. There we go. So I'm going to pop this on a very low heat. Very low heat. Uh, I'm going to pop a lid on it. I'm going to come back and check it regularly stirring it round, okay? About 20, 25 minutes until that apple is really beautifully softened. Um, and then we'll kind of add, we'll add the booze and we'll add the suet. But let's get this going, very gentle, very gentle. Got hardly any liquid in there for now, so not burn anything. Just let it go and relax. Okay, whilst that is um, doing its thing, quick little advert or quick little plug. Kelly and I have now set up a Amazon page or an Amazon branded page I guess and uh, on there you'll find all the things that we recommend all our cookery books uh, a lot of our equipment that we're using a lot of stuff we use uh, all the time and if you want to purchase any of that please do we will get a tiny tiny little commission on anything that you buy from Amazon if you buy any of those things uh, it's actually called Big Oggy Golf I'll give you the details below uh, because basically the Big Eye Golf uh, channel is bigger than this one so that allowed me to actually set up the branded site I guess. Uh, like I said it's all the different things we recommend, loads and loads of cookery books on there, some quite cheap items, some quite expensive items, it's, it's all the stuff we use in the, in the kitchen and obviously a few little golf bits and pieces as well. Uh, but I'll give you the link in the description below. Pop back in a little while we'll see how that's getting on. Okay so your mince meat's all done the um, apple's all softened, all the liquid's kind of soaked up, fruit is plumping up as well, looks lovely. Take it off the heat, give it another stir, and then to that you're going to add in your doozy stuff. We're using rum, um, about 60 mils, four tablespoons, tablespoon is about 15 mils, so that's a 50 on there, and a splash, or a big splash. Give that a stir in. Now we've got Christmas. Now we've got Christmas. Anything we haven't got is a bottle of Baileys in it. Now, so 100 grams of suet. We're using vegetarian, like I said. You can use cold butter, unsalted butter if you want. Throw that in as well. Give that a stir. That will melt down in the residual heat. And then we're pretty much done. We're going to let this cool down a bit. It does say actually you can put it straight into a bowl, but I'm going to let it cool down in the uh, saucepan for a while. Transfer it into this bowl or a plastic bowl. Get yourself a little bit of baking parchment. I've cut mine earlier. Here I've prepared, like blue pizza. Um, if you don't know how to make it round, well, basically just stick it on or pen round it. 
I need a pair of scissors. Come on, it's not difficult. Now, once this is cooled down a bit, I've said transfer that into that, put that on top of it, stick it in the fridge. Um, ideally for at least 24 hours, we're going to do 48 hours, you can leave it in the fridge for up to a month. Um, it won't go off, it's got spirit in it. And then we're going to use it for mince pies. So that'll be the next video. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Dead simple recipe today, but it's going to be a good one. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, come and join me on Big Oi Golf, Kelly and I here on Big Oi World. And we'll see you in a couple of days time for double cherry mince pies. Very good. Thank you.